Creating your own t-shirts couldn't be easier with the Kodiak Supplies transfer paper. Begin by selecting a design to transfer. Take a sheet of Kodiak transfer paper and place it by itself into the tray of an inkjet printer so that the design will print on the blank white side of the sheet and not the marked backing paper. Without using mirror mode, print out your design and allow it to dry for at least 5 minutes. While you're waiting, lay out a cloth on a hard surface and on top of it iron out your t-shirt to ensure there are no wrinkles. Do not use steam. Once it's dry, trim your design to just what you want to have on your t-shirt. Peel off the backing and place it facing up on your shirt. Take a sheet of Kodiak isolation paper and place it on top of the design. And with the iron fully heated, slowly and carefully, iron the image in a circular pattern for between 30 seconds and 3 minutes, depending on the size. Once complete, remove the isolation paper and your new custom t-shirt is ready. This is a video about the photo paper direct transfer paper for light t-shirts. comes packed in cellophane ba bags like this and it contains everything that you need in order to carry out the process. Instructions are on the back of the printed insert that's included with the paper. To start with, we need a hard heat resistant tabletop or worktop of similar uh, description. Make sure please that it is heat resistant and it's not going to be affected by ironing it, by ironing on it. What we need to do is line it with an old t-shirt just to protect the surface a little bit and on top of it We're going to place the t-shirt that we're going to print. Here I have a pre-printed transfer. You notice that it's been printed in mirror mode. It's also referred to as flip horizontal on your printer driver or, or on some printer drivers. And you can also create the mirror effect in your graphics program. I'm going to trim the transfer. It's good practice to remove as much of the white edge as possible, leaving a small gap, small white edge. Like this. Before starting the transfer, I'm using my iron, which is at least 1600 watts. This has been preheated for five minutes at maximum temperature and we've switched off the steam. So maximum heat, five minutes preheat, no steam, and the iron has got to be at least 1600, 1600 watts. I take the transfer, place it face down in the correct position and with my iron initially just a quick iron all over the transfer to stick it down and then systematically in small circles up and down making sure I cover every part of the transfer especially the edges and the corners up and down side to side for the prescribed time. So on a full A4 or 8.5 by 11 size sheet this should take about 3 minutes. If your transfer is half that size or A5 or half of 8.5 by 11 you can cut down the time by half and just adjust the timing according to the size of your image. So small circles up and down. I'm putting a lot of pressure on this. I'm leaning on the iron. As much pressure as you can, the better. As 
So we are about ready. I'm going to peel this transfer paper when it's hot by stretching a little corner a little bit just to pick up the edge and in one smooth movement I've peeled it off. Once this stage is done you take your silicone paper which is this thin semi uh, translucent sheet that's included in with your paper with your pack of paper place it on the exposed image and with the iron for about 20 to 30 seconds in the same method circles systematically up and down peel it off and give your transfer a little stretch while it's hot and that's it washing of this t-shirt should be in a washing machine only in a 40 degree Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit normal wash with a spin cycle do not soak it, do not wash it as a delicate, it's a good idea to turn it inside out and it will be wearable for many many washes to come afterwards